I have a final question for both of you. President Biden recently said, quote, America is the most unique idea in history, end quote. But he added, we've never lived up to it, but we've never walked away from it before. Erica and Jean, will that idea survive? What does it mean this 4th of July to be an American? Erica, do you want to start? Well, um, to be an American really depends on who you ask, right? Who has the power? Who has the power to define what American means? Who has the power to then legislate what that definition, uh, what kinds of powers come with that definition? And so there are so many, so many people throughout history and including in our contemporary times who have wielded the most narrow and exclusive definition of American um, against others. And today we see it as, as being a, a symbol of, of white nationalism and white supremacy that the, the, the Anglo-Saxon Protestant uh, American is somehow the truest and the best American that we need to go back to a time when there was less racial diversity um, and less religious diversity. Um, but again, if you ask our newest Americans or ask our newest arrivals who may not yet be official American citizens, but have given up so much for the chance to simply be in the United States um, with the hope of, of perhaps becoming a citizen, then I think we, we get at a different definition, one that does speak to what President Biden and President Obama had always referred to as the promise of America. Um, I think it's important to acknowledge that that promise has not always been accessible to everybody and still is not accessible to everybody. But that ideal um, and the values do remain an important part of, of a much broader and welcoming and inclusive um, definition and ideal of America that we can and, and should um, look forward to and to support. Jean? Yeah, as, as far as whether the idea can survive, I mean, I think it's important to remember the Republican Party can and is capable of embracing this more inclusive definition of what it means to be an American. Unfortunately, it has it is it has been hijacked by its extremist, you know, white nationalist fringe. And unfortunately, all of these voter suppression efforts across the country, uh, you know, the anti-immigrant agenda, all of these things uh, are real cause for concern as far as whether people are going to be able to use their voices and have them be heard. Um, and that's why I think it's so important that the Democrats continue to pursue. Uh, you know, through whatever means they have available to them to ensure that communities of color are able to vote, are able to become citizens and, and are able to be American the way that they deserve to be. Because as far as the definition of American, like, you know, what is an American? I think anyone who is in this country and has a dream of uh, ha having this be their home and, you know, wants to have a family here, wants to contribute to our society, they deserve a chance to, to, to be, be that and to have that. 